And taking you now to Cisco, where a community college is welcoming 15 new freshmen. The high school seniors signing their letters of intent on this National Signing Day for the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association. Now, this program holds 50 prestigious student, uh, students, replacing 30 each year by sending them off to larger universities. So, for the next two years, these students will jumpstart their rodeo careers and push for higher education. The KRBC's Feb and Cassison explains in tonight's Education Watch. This is their chance to shine with their parents. Some of these kids have worked their whole life, and one of the things that they strive to is to get a college scholarship. Head rodeo director and coach Don Edelman building the rodeo team from the ground up. When I started the program back five years ago, we started with zero kids and zero really facility. Jump starting the careers of these wide eyed freshmen. All we do is help nurture them, and we're a support system for them educationally as well as. Uh, Professionally. Into professional cowboys and cowgirls. I was raised in a family where everybody roped, so I kind of got into it when I was about 13, and then after that, I just really took a liking to it. Darcy Podzemny, a competitive high school senior from Bridgeport, Texas. I'm going to be breakawaying and heading, but um, I used to go at tie, but I quit that after this year, so I'm just going into this roping. Officially a competitive female Cisco Wrangler. We all like to help each other out because as a girl roping, it's a lot different and they swing a lot different than a man swings. And Colorado native Winston McGraw. I'm going to team rope, calf rope, and steer wrestle. A strong roper who picked one up in the sixth grade and never let go. My dad rodeoed when he grew up, and uh, we've, we've always been around horses my whole life, so it was just a matter of time. Just two of the strong 15 permanently inking their future. In Cisco, Feb and Castahoon, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. All right, thank you, Febin. The rest of that freshman class could not make it due to logistics or being out of the state.